It's 8 a.m. at Teacher Adam Memorial School. Mustafa Shira is not in school today. Poverty has forced her out of the classroom. She is hawking on the streets of Nima. Yes, dear. Mustafa Shira stays with her grandmother who sells charcoal. She is 12 years old. She has to work hard to fend for herself and her family. For Mustafa Shira, every day is a struggle. She says her mother traveled to seek a better life, but has not returned. My name is Mustafa Shira. I wanted to sell what I help my grandmother. Why she's selling the charcoal, they don't sell. So she said that I should sell some uh, water so that she can get money to cook food for us in the evening. Then it is. Yes, hey. My mother traveled. She sent us to some woman. So the woman, when my mother sent the money, she can use it to do everything. But then the money will finish. When they, when they call my mother, my mother said that she doesn't have money. Despite these conditions, Mustafa Shira wants to be a nurse. Let's say her dreams are not totally shattered. She has hope. What do you want to be when you grow up? Nurse. A nurse. Safia Hanu, the grandmother of Mustafa Shira, recounts how Mustafa Shira and her younger brother were brought to her. her. <laughs> Se Nkolane wa Mamino Hono, Mamino so obey to Queen. Nte and odd dimming number Emma Mamino sons is Uncolane Bremen. Nte na Mamino to Queen by a. And I'm present the Mamino to Queen by a Mincolano, a Maka Mamin in China and Conning Champion. Or say a Colano better name in chair, a good Tamo Beba. These days, her grandmother's charcoal business does not make enough sales to fend for the family. On good days, Mustafa Shira brings home 10 Ghana cities from her pure water sales. And then it read this in the ultimate tongue bag in me. Ten CD. The free compulsory universal basic education FQ program is to provide the opportunity for every school aid child in Ghana to receive quality basic education. In an interaction with Safia Hanu on the provisions made by free compulsory basic education, she laments on the huge cost of teaching materials and other necessities which still makes it difficult to access free education. She adds that there is not much difference from now and then when there was no free compulsory basic education. Free education was here. If you want to free education, you can't get free education. You can't get free education. The headmaster of Teacher Adam Memorial School, Reverend Evans Duche, is sad that Mustafa Shira had to drop out of school. He said Mustafa Shira is a good student who is supposed to be in school but not on the streets hustling. When we come to the academic aspect, she was in class 3. But in, in terms of learning, she's, she's very good. If people can come in and help that lady, I'll be very glad because she's very good. She can read, she's intelligent, she can answer questions in class. Article 38, Section 2 of the 1992 Constitution states that the government shall, within two years after Parliament first meets after the coming into force of this Constitution, draw up a program for implementation within the following 10 years for the provision of free, compulsory, and universal basic education. All persons shall have the right to equal educational opportunities and facilities and to fully realize that right 
basic education shall be free, compulsory, and available to all.